Welcome back, Pom Pom Gang, to another Pom Pom Sisters YouTube tutorial. And this is day three of our seven days of Halloween on our channel where I am featuring tutorials, looks, and handyman Clarence is also going to be making a guest appearance. So I recently did the Shishara Cat and the Mad Hatter on my channel just a couple of days ago and uploaded those videos for our Halloween, seven days of Halloween. If you have not guessed already, you should know that I am creating this gorgeous look. It was supposed to be a witch, but at the last minute, I tried to run to the store and get a witch hat and they were all out. So I was stuck with the horns, but it's okay. It still looks really good. So this is also a, another quick weave wig that I made from a pack of $25 hair. And the Shishar Cat wig was a, also a quick weave and I absolutely died for that purple. And now we have our witch look with our dark green and smoked out look and I am absolutely in love with it. To get started on how I did my hair, simple. I'ma go ahead and run through this. I use hair glue to secure the tracks to the dome cap. You will need a canvas head for molding. And I did take my measurements from the front of my hair to the nape of my neck and from ear to ear. Here I am setting up my dome cap onto my canvas head. I have blue markings to indicate where I took my measurements for my ear to ear as well as the front of my scalp to the nape of my neck. And that's just to make sure that the wig is gonna sit evenly from my canvas head onto my actual head. So I wanna make sure the wig is gonna transfer over with the correct measurements and nothing's looking twisted or jagged or anything like that we want to make sure all my tracks are going to lay as evenly as possible. Now to get started with my process of adding my tracks, I add the glue onto the dome cap and then add the track to the dome cap and kind of push it into the glue. I do this um, at least three to four times. So I do three to four sets of tracks and I use multiple T-pins to hold in each track and then i'll zap it with a blow dryer at the end of every three to four tracks remove those t-pins do another three to four tracks blow dry it remove those t-pins do another three to four tracks so that was pretty much my method of installing my tracks onto the dome cap to create my wig using this 25 dollar quick weed packet The, this Halloween week has just been absolutely insane for me and my girls. We experienced a car accident a couple of days ago. So during half of these videos, well actually more than half of these videos, I am like just running off of adrenaline and anxiety because everything has just been crazy. Um, we wrecked our family car and right now we are in the process of trying to figure out whether we'll be buying a new one or hopefully fixing the one we have so it's just it's it's, it's been a lot but luckily keeping my mind busy by doing my tutorials and trying to keep myself occupied with my diys has a great gracefully gratefully 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 help me out with the coping and you know redirecting some of that anxiety fueled energy to something else other than what's wrong so this was this was definitely nice i enjoyed the distraction of making these wigs and creating these uh, super scary and fun uh, halloween looks Making this wig did go a lot faster, of course, than when I did the Shishar Cat. The Shishar Cat wig took me a little bit longer just because I kind of had to get my method down and it took me a while to kind of 
perfect it. So second go round, I was done with this wig within 30 minutes. I let the glue sit overnight so that it doesn't shift once I take it off of the wig. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the makeup because that was, of course, the fun part. So for my makeup, I used only three colors for this look. And I mean for the entire face, I legit only used three colors. So I used a dark green, a shimmer green, and of course, black. Those were my three colors for the entire entire look i start off with my base already down i had to uh, do other things today so i already had my regular makeup on and with for regular makeup i mean my contour and my highlight concealer i already had blush on and stuff although blush is not required for this look so you will see that my face is pretty much already done up eyebrows and everything i already had mascara on so we're just pretty much adding eyeshadow and additional contour to this look. So I start off with my dark green and I go in to pretty much make that my transition color um, on my lid for my crease. And I make sure I smoke that all out up into the brow bone as well as to my lower lashes. But once I have my smoked out transition dark green on my crease and down under my waterline, I then uh, go in with the black and I'm gonna go in with a smaller eyeshadow brush, a more precisioned eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna pack that right on the inner corner or the outer corner, right on the outer corner of my eye and also kind of sweep it directly onto the crease just to give my eyes more depth Once we do that and smoke that out as well, I'm then gonna go in with my pretty, pretty shimmer green, which is gonna go right on the lids. This would have been a very good cut crease, but unfortunately, I do not specialize in cut creases, so I fake it till I make it. I pack it on and just try to sweep it from the inner corner right to about mid eye. And then I try to blend in the dark outer corner with the shimmer together. So it has a nice transition from shimmer to smoked out and crazy. So once we are done with that, we're then gonna go in with some eyeliner to create like this veiny look under my eyes. And that was, like super easy i thought it was going to be a little tedious trying to do it this is of course my first time trying to do something like this under my eyes but it was actually really really easy so just taking some eyeliner making sure i have a nice precision point on my brush i'm just kind of like wiggling the lines under my eyes trying to create variations between the lines and then i take a clean brush and just kind of like dab at the liner I try to do this before the eyeliner dries all the way and that's just gonna kind of like smoke it out a little bit more So it's not like too defined with the eyeliner and then I go back in with that same Eyeshadow brush that I used to smoke out all this green I then go in again under my eyes and kind of smoke it out just a little bit more and bring it out Just a little bit more too and that is going to create this nice smoky veiny look right up under our eyes Once we are done with that, add some black eyeliner and this eyeshadow look is complete. Three freaking colors. Now it's time to go into the contour. The contour was probably really, it, it was also really fun as well. So I first started going in with a black crayon, makeup crayon that I purchased from Walmart, one of those little Halloween makeup kits. And I draw a line where I would go, do my usual contour. I do it just slightly higher than where I would apply my usual contour just because I wanna have that nice sunken face kind of look. So I go just a little bit higher, draw a line as well as draw a line down the sides of my nose for that contour. And I just kind of doodled some circles on my forehead. I, it's not necessary, I just felt like doing it. Then I go in with a nice buffer brush and I try to buff all of that out. And I try to keep the black as centered as possible. Then I'm gonna go in with that dark green eyeshadow that we use on our eyelids. We're gonna also apply that to our contour as well. So I go in with that to try to smoke it out just a little bit more, give it more definition. And I do the same thing on my forehead as well as going down the sides of my nose.
Now it's time for the black eyeshadow that we also used on our eyes to create our smoky outer corner. I'm going to try to just line my contour and I go in with another eye, the same eyeshadow brush or no, no, a different. I go in with a eyeshadow brush just for the black and I just kind of like guide where I want my contour to stop. And that's just gonna give me that more like depth that just, it really just sunk in my cheeks. It was perfect. So now that my contour and my face looks super sunk in and scary and skinny, it's time to go in with some highlights. Now I just decided to go in with a white powder. I wasn't too heavy on it. I just wanted enough to kind of make my cheekbones pop a little bit more and that, that will also create make my contour look even more sunken in. So I kind of take the white um, face powder and I line up right above my contour as well as the bridge of my nose and I pat just a little bit right under my eyes to bring out my cheekbones a little bit more and a little bit on the forehead. To finish off my highlight I go in with a nice gold shimmer one of my regular regular everyday highlights and I do that right on top of my cheekbones, my chin, tip of the nose and as well as my forehead. Nothing too too crazy. I even highlighted my brow bone just to make my brow bone kind of pop out more from underneath all this dark eyeshadow. time to get into these scary lips. All you need is some concealer and a black lipstick. Originally, I was gonna go in with an eyeliner, but I just decided to stick with the lipstick. I couldn't even use the black crayon, makeup crayon that I got out of my Halloween kit, but I had black lipstick already on hand, so it was no big deal. So, of course, you're just going to apply the lipstick right on the center of the lips. And I try to keep it concentrated as much as possible. If I go too far out from where I want it, I just take concealer and apply, like kind of close my mouth and apply some concealer to try to cover up where I may have made a mistake. And then um, just use some setting powder to set the concealer so it doesn't shift and you don't, don't get too many creases on your lips. Once we have our black set where we want it to, I take a nice angled brush and I just kind of draw the lines outwards from where the black is to kind of create that veiny look on my lips where it looks like I just got done eating something, you know, terribly disgusting. And uh, then I take some black powder and apply it right on the inside of the lips as well, just to kind of darken that black lipstick a little bit more. Finally, we apply our eyelashes and I was debating whether or not going with contacts or without contacts. So I put in one contact to see how it looked and this looked even more creepier than I felt like it would without or with both of them. So I just decided to stick with one contact for this look just to give it some extra creepiness. And I added my beautiful Maleficent horns and this look is done. I think that was it. Did I go over everything? I talked about hair. Talk about makeup.
thank you guys for joining us for another Halloween tutorial on this super scary witch look turned into demon slash Maleficent. You are new to our channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can come back tomorrow for our fourth day of Halloween to see what we will be posting. When Once you subscribe to our channel, just scroll down to playlist and you will see a nice dedicated Halloween playlist for your pleasure, please feel free to watch all the videos in there. And don't forget to like this video. We will see y'all on our next Halloween tutorial. Thank you guys for joining us today. Please stay safe and be blessed.